Explorer. So we have made it to Orlando and we have checked into the Holiday and Vacation Club. So in this video, I'm gonna take you around as much as I can of the Vacation Club. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of staying here. So let's enjoy the Holiday Inn Vacation Club here near Orlando, Florida, near Disney World. All right, Explorers, we have made it to our room here at the Holiday Inn Vacation Club. So let's go and take a tour of the room. Give me a tour. So on the left, we have bedroom one that has two beds. Oh, there's a, I was about to say, oh, I hope there's a TV in here. Why the bed's right at the walkway? And then there's a bathroom. And here is the master pool towels for your use, okay. Master bedroom. Oh, wow. Yes, this is a nice bathroom. Wow. Toilet room. Further, what's this? <laughs> you need to clean. <laughs> Cleaning supplies. It's a whole kitchen in here. And a nice seating area. And then there is a balcony that has a light. And thank you for it. Is it light? Oh, there's a thing here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, and it's caged in. So you don't get any bugs. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice that it's caged, caged in. That is low. That is so low. Nothing in there. Mm -hmm. They got coffee. Here's the safe. Got yeah, I got tie. I got some extra blankets. So far, this unit looks really nice. The entire Holiday and Vacation Club here is huge with a lot of restaurants, a lot of things to do. I'm sure I'm not going to be able to see it all because we are going to Disney World, which will be in a later video. But so far, so good. So we're going to head to a restaurant and a pool so you can see more. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you how I like this Holiday Vacation, Holiday and Vacation Club. So they have different villages. Different things. West Village, that's where the check in was. And they have the East Village, that's where we're staying. The North Village, they don't have a South Village. They got River Island, though, that's where the overflow parking. Okay. Come with me as I take you on a tour of this property. We're going to drive around, walk around, and enjoy this property. Oh, well, there's good signage once you get in. So now we are at River Island We're going to this Trade Winds Bar and Grill. Okay, so we came to Trade Winds Bar and Grill because of the menu online. It is almost June 2024 and the menu changed in January 2024 and that menu online is no longer valid. So you can make bad decisions coming here and this menu is not not it so we will not be back here we'll see how the food is it might be good but we'll see here's the chicken sandwich looks good and your chicken This is such a beautiful resort. 
I'm at the River Island District, which has a big pool, has slides, it has hot tub, a lazy river, all the things, restaurants, shops, everything at River Island here, the Holiday Inn Vacation Club. the food at the restaurant I forgot to talk about it was really really good a lot of food definitely didn't disappoint but I don't like their current menu he actually the waiter actually got my um chicken sandwich made to order because that's what I wanted and they have false advertising now I really want to go on the like lazy river here and it says that you should get a tube from the splash shack which closes at 5 p.m. So I don't know if it's possible if you don't have a purchase, a wristband before that time. Place where they proudly serve Starbucks. Now, a thing about each of these villages so the west, north, and east village you're going to find a pool, a workout center, and activities in each village. Mind you, the West Village is the original village. It is a bigger spacing because the buildings are more flat, whereas East Village is the newest part of the property. So you're going to have taller buildings because apparently land got more expensive so they couldn't spread out to have flatter level buildings. So let's check out North Village. As we approach North Village, I want to share with you that each of the villages also has somewhere to eat, some restaurant somewhere within the village. So you do not have to journey to a different village if you don't want to, but you can. You have access to the entire property while you're there. As you can see, each pool is different. The best pool and most popular pool is at River Island, but you can get a smaller, more private experience in East Village. Now it's time for the review. So I'm back at home, back in Atlanta from Orlando and staying at this Holiday Inn Vacation Club, this Holiday Inn Resort near Disney World. So let me tell you the pros and cons about staying at this resort. So for the pros, first of all, it is a massive resort. You actually don't even have to leave the resort if you don't want to because everything is there that you need. You have a grocery store on site, you have restaurants, you have pools, there's a beach, there's golfing, there's arcades, there's a workout room, and it is just a huge, huge facility. Another great thing about this resort is that they do have a shuttle service that takes you around to the different villages so you don't even have to get in your car again if you don't want to. Also, the rooms were very comfortable. At least the room I stayed in in the East Village, very comfortable room. Bed was great. I slept great when I stayed in that room. 
Also, if you want to cook yourself and save money on food and not having to go to the restaurants all the time, my unit in particular had a full-fledged kitchen, which I would think most of the units do have. And there is a Publix grocery store right outside of the property. So for us, where our unit was located, it was only five minutes to Publix. And it's not gonna be much longer if you're at somewhere else in the on the property. So if you don't wanna eat at the resort, you don't wanna cook, there are a plenty of restaurants on the main road. It is a huge road. You have things from Chick-fil-A to, what is it? Um, was Carabas on the street? Uh, um, Bob Evans, like multiple restaurants, not just fast food restaurants, all types of restaurants, full service to fast food. You also have not only just the Publix, but you also have Target nearby. There's a Walmart and other stores as well. So. You don't have to stay at the resort if you don't want to. Now let's talk about the cons. So the cons are one, it's expensive or it could be expensive. I stayed there because I went for a timeshare presentation, which I will talk about in a later video. So I only spent, I think about $400 with that included an upgrade to a two bedroom suite. $400 for the entire stay. I heard, which I'll go and drop up the current pricing down below. I heard it could cost 300 to $400 Per night so it can be costly especially if you're planning to stay for a while also it's great they have the shuttle service but there's no shuttle service that's going to take you to MCO or Orlando Orlando's International Airport it's also about 30 minutes from that airport or 20 to 30 minutes depending on traffic but it is close to Disney World so that is another pro it's close to Disney World but there's no shuttle that takes you to Disney World so you're gonna have to have the extra transportation and plans to get you to and from places outside of the resort. Also, from what I have learned, is that since this is a holiday and vacation club, most of the people who are gonna be staying here are people who own timeshares. Therefore, they get first dibs on places. They don't have many slots available for people who do not have a timeshare. So you need to book early and book it fast if you want to stay at this vacation club. Now, if you are a timeshare holder with Holiday Inn, then you'll have more availability to stay on this property. All in all, with my review, I would definitely stay there again. I wouldn't go on another timeshare presentation because again, I'll talk about that in a later video, but I would stay there again because it was just a nice clean facility. with a lot of things to do and easy access to the Disney theme parks. Goodbye Holiday Inn Vacation Club. All right, explorers, make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell because next week I'm taking you to Magic Kingdom with my mom. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so and helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And if you love to support my business even further, make sure you hit the thanks button down below. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye. Thank you.